Hello people, welcome to Millivay's Games Tutorial Part 2 of Space Tunnel. In this tutorial, I'm going to we are going to learn how to create a star fields, the asteroids uh, to make our universe more prominent. And so also we will create this tunnel through the script right now it's manual we uh, like in the last episode we have seen that we created the manual tunnel but here we will create it through the script and then we will add a uh, star field and then we will add the asteroids a different kind of asteroid through the particle system uh, so let's start okay so uh, first I'll delete all this uh, tunnel right to as we need to uh, create this from the script so delete all the tunnel right now let's go to the your image sheet and let's create a group called uh, create tunnel or create underscore tunnel uh, now we'll take the same uh, five different uh, type of uh, five different tunnel rectangles with different g elevation so let's create a loop here inside that so uh, system for loop and i'm going to run this from zero to four which means total five as the last index is also included in this and uh, now uh, we have to create an object tunnel rect at layer top at the center of the screen uh, that's it okay uh, we need to set the g elevation here so uh, I'll set the g elevation based on the loop index so it's tunnel rect set g elevation to loop index into uh, let's say okay 18 uh, so my so the tunnel rack will be at like first one is a zero then uh, the second one is 18 then 36 and 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 so on okay uh, now we need to set the size this time we are not going to take uh, the same size of the tunnel rectangle we will also change the size based on the g elevation so as the g elevation increases the size of the uh, tunnel rack uh, will also increase so this will give you more uh, good effect of the tunnel okay so we say set size self dot g elevation into 3 well I'm multiplying it with 3 so if your g elevation is 18 so your size will be like 54 by 54 well you can change these values according to your need but so this is the value which I feel seems better okay so the tunnel uh, yeah that that's that's the thing that's the whole code to generate a tunnel. Uh, let's run this. Ooh, this is something this is crazy. Okay, what's the problem? Uh, okay, the problem here is that uh, we have uh, created this for loop in a in a, in a group, which means that it keeps on continue it keeps on running. So we need to change this and we need to add this for loop in our starting st on the start of the layout so system on start layout and simply drag and drop it inside on start layout now let's run it yeah that's fine we have a tunnel right let's go back to the event sheet and enable Channel type and let's see how it behaves. Yeah, seems fine. Great. Okay, uh, well, uh, I, uh, let's add an opacity uh, to the last one so that it will look like that it's coming from very far. Okay, so I'll just change the opacity. Uh, 
here turn right mm, no. yeah. opacity set the opacity to uh, something like self dot key elevation into, into three okay and we copy and paste it and put the same over here let's see yeah now you see that uh, the opacity is changing and it looks like that it's coming from far away yeah okay so our tunnel is ready uh, so let's create a particle system and add a star field effect uh, in our tunnel so first we need to create an object we need to create an object of the particle uh, for the particle system to emit okay so I'll take a new object and this will be the sprite I call this uh, okay star particle now double click and I'll take the color uh, somewhere this green okay now we have the object for the particle system so let's create a particle system particles, particles. and I call this star particle system now drag and drop the particle system on the screen first change the position to the center of the screen uh, let the size be as it is change the layer to BG so that it will be behind the tunnel rectangle mm. yeah now let's go down and change some properties of the particle system so we need to set this rate by 50 just fine uh, spray con to 360 so that it will spread across the in all direction now we need to set the object which, uh, the object which the particle system going to emit so we select star particle here change the speed to somewhere around 10 change the size to 10 well the opacity will be 30 because I don't want to look so much glowy and now the X randomizer will be 1920 which is the size of your screen and the height uh, so that our star field is going to uh, you know spread across the screen uh, we need a size randomizer which is simply just one we don't need much uh, this will, will be uh, 50 we don't need a speed randomizer so let's make it zero and we need a timeout to 30 seconds so that after 30 seconds the particle will destroy and the new particle will be created mm. all right I think let's see this okay we have a pretty good particle yeah hmm. but this is not what I wanted I wanted something different okay so let's add some more effects I want it something like this here you can see the static rectangle here I wanted something like that all right so let's go back let's change let's put some effect and let's go to the effects add new effect all right change this to radial blur and just radius to 100 percent let's see now Uh, yeah we need to uh, change the 
uh, I think that we are taking taking as a wrong because we don't need this object here. Okay, so uh, so let's remove this uh, particle from here. Yes. Okay, and double click on your star particle system and give this uh, this green color which I have given. So just select this, select the green color and fill it up. Now here we don't need to choose the object, okay? Uh, because uh, otherwise, uh, if you choose the object which the particle system will emit, then uh, the all the properties or the effects will go on that object. Okay, so we don't get that. Uh, I think that's all fine. Uh, now let's run it. Yeah, you see, this uh, this was the effect which I needed. Uh, so you can play with the properties of the particle system, and you can make this uh, like. You can, slow or the faster or you can have more particles or the growth rate or whatever you want to do you can do with this with the properties okay yeah you have a pretty good software great now let's add the asteroid okay now I want the bunch of asteroids like floating in the air floating in the sorry floating in the universe uh, so let's create uh, first we need uh, the asteroid object I have given the link of the assets in the video description so you can download I call this asteroid well, I'm going to take multiple asteroids uh, in, in our game so I'll call this as I'm so sorry about the spelling Asteroid one, okay, and let's add asteroid one. So this is my asteroid PNG. So let's do this. Now we have the asteroid. Uh, we're also going to achieve this through a particle system. So create new particle system. Call this. Asteroid one particle particle system. Oh. Now drag and drop this over here. Well, you can also take the center. Uh, so I'll just place it here. Now let's change some properties. So uh, I don't need too much uh, asteroid floating. So I'll just keep this 10. Yes, I wanted an entire uh, area. And this time we select the object asteroid 1. We need a very small speed. So let's take this 10. Uh, we need a very small size as well, so let's take this 10 as well. Um, okay, we can take the capacities to somewhere 50% or 30%. Let's put the 30%. Uh, the acceleration will be 10 here. Just remove the speed randomizer. So, let it go. Yes, we'll change the size randomizer to 50 because I want uh, different size of asteroids. Uh, this will be 1920 and 1080. Um, this will be 30. That's all. Now let's preview this. Mm. The asteroids are going out of the screen here. <laughs> Probably. Oh, some of them inside. Yeah. So let's run it. Let's see how this looks. Yeah, we have a bunch of asteroids floating. That's great.
this is what we needed right now it's taking a shape of the universe pretty well uh, so uh, you can have uh, now we need a, one more kind of asteroid and that will be uh, the asteroids coming towards towards you okay so we need that as well and so we'll create a new particle system for that and also create a new object for that because if I use the same object then if I apply some properties on this object then the same property will be applied in all other particle systems so we don't want that okay so let's create a new particle system and let's call this asteroid 2 particle system now you can clone this because we're going to use exactly same uh, sprite now let's add this particle system here I'm going to change the angle of this to 180 I'm so sorry this is 90 180 and I want to set the rate to 1 uh, because uh, so the one asteroid at a time uh, going to 180 and displace it somewhere here select the object asteroid 2 speed uh, would be 50 uh, size will be 10 oh, let's keep this 32 only acceleration will be 50 we don't need a speed randomizer so let's keep it that way just call this 0 and let's put this 30 and yeah let's run it Let's see how this looks. It's not looking good at all. I'll check the size to 100. Oh, it's going. You see? But we needed to come forward. So let's keep the size back to 32 and let's change it in the script. Mm, let's go to the image sheet. Let's create a group called mm, call this space objects. Space underscore objects. Uh, inside that we need an empty uh, empty event. So uh, so uh, we need to change the z elevation of the asteroids. So asteroid two, so the elevation that will be based on elevation plus the speed here. Yeah. Now let's run and let's see how this will look. Okay. Uh, this is not good okay so we'll take care of the size uh, from the script um, so let's go back to the image here. and here we have set the G elevation uh, we also need to set the size uh, based on the G elevation so we'll say asteroid size so dot g elevation to two g elevation to two and we also because right now the tunnel speed is lesser so but uh, the asteroid still will uh, we need a higher speed for the asteroid so uh, let's change the speed and let's run it let's see how this works yeah 
Okay, yes, this is what I needed. Want it? It's lo that's lovely. Yes, so this is what I wanted, and I want it on the left side as well. So simply copy and paste it, and just put somewhere here. Put it somewhere here. Yeah, let's try it. Let's see how it will look. And the square. Oh, well, the size is also looking so much bigger that it's actually covering the entire screen. So we can play with the size. You, you look at this asteroid. This is something we don't actually want because we need a ship uh, in the tunnel which moves. So it will be very difficult to avoid these kind of asteroids. Uh, so we needed uh, so we have to play we need to change the size let's change the size of the deterioration let's keep this so sorry let's keep this to the speed only let's see how this looks the and this one is coming to the tunnel inside the tunnel. So I will want it. Uh, so let's change this to 1.5 and let's change. Okay, let's keep this to 2. I'm so sorry. And let's change the so to this generation hmm. let's see yeah yeah this one seems fine this is good it is okay I guess so we have our floating asteroids, we have the star fields, and we have the asteroids coming towards the screen. Now, in the next, thank you for watching. In the next tutorial, I'm going to uh, implement the spaceship and we will move the spaceship inside the tunnel. And we also add the shooting, laser shooting, all those stuff. So, thank you for watching and please subscribe my channel please comment if you like it and thank you so much